To write the balanced equation for CaSO4 plus AlCl3, we'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one calcium, and then we're going to use a little trick here that'll make it a lot easier to balance because we have this SO4 here and we have it here. It's called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. It stays together in the chemical reaction. So we're going to just count this as one thing. We have one sulfate. We have one aluminum. And then we have three chlorine atoms. On the product side, we have our one calcium. Then we have three sulfates. We have two aluminums and two chlorine atoms. Why don't we start by balancing the sulfates? We have three here and one here. We just put a three in front of the calcium sulfate. We have the one sulfate times the three. That gives us three. Those are balanced. We have one times three for the calcium atom. We have three of those. Might as well fix the calcium here. We could put a coefficient of three in front of the calcium chloride. One times three. So now that's balanced. And the chlorine, two times three. And we have six chlorine atoms. If we put a two in front of the aluminum chloride, the three here, three times two, that gives us the six. So those are balanced. And one aluminum times two, that gives us two. And those are balanced. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So when you have these double displacement reactions, if you count the polyatomic ions as just one item when they appear on both sides, it makes it a lot quicker to balance. This is Dr. Beat with the balanced equation for calcium sulfate plus aluminum chloride. Thanks for watching.